Hello everybody, welcome back to American Textbook Reading. We're on lesson 10 right now, we're talking about jobs. So you can see these different people, they all have different types of jobs. And I can ask you, what type of job do you want to have when you get older? What sounds interesting to you? Well, in this lesson, we are going to discover kinds of jobs, different kinds of jobs. There are many kinds of jobs and where people work. So these people work in different places. That's what we're going to talk about in this lesson. Let's start, of course, with job. What is a job? A job is work that a person does for pay. For pay? Pay, of course, means money. <laughs> All right? Money. Um, if somebody does work and they get paid for it, that's a job. By the way, job can mean a couple things. Job can mean like a full-time job. That's what somebody does all the time. It's their full-time job. It's their main job. I'm sorry, that's a J, not a U. You could have a part-time job. A part-time job. Okay? You can also do just one job. It's a single job or it's a one-time job. A one-time job is when you know you go out and you do one project and you get paid for it. For example, people will go out, maybe somebody will go out and they'll fix a, a, a piece of machinery or they'll go to somebody's house and they'll, they'll fix their house or they'll do something. That's one job. So we can talk about job as in your career, job in, in terms of career. A career is what somebody does their whole life. A career is like an engineer, a dentist, a lawyer. That's a career. But one job, it could also be job. What's your job? But a job can also be one period of work or one project that you do. So job can be used in a couple of different ways, a couple of different senses. Okay, we also talk about workers. People who have jobs are workers, right? A worker is a person who does a job. Very easy, right? They are a worker. We have office worker, right? Office worker. In There's a word salary worker, but that's not so common in America. It's probably better to say office worker or businessman. Um, uh, you have also some different types of workers, right? A person who... Uh, is a salary worker, an office worker, or you also have people who are hourly workers. Let's talk about this for just a minute. An hourly worker and a salaried worker or salary worker. A salary worker gets the same amount of pay every month. They might get, well, let's say $2,000 or $3,000 a month. Every month, no change because they're working on a salary. Their salary, their payment is fixed. It doesn't change. But an hourly worker gets paid for each hour that they work. And their pay might change from month to month depending on how many hours they worked. If they worked just a few hours, their pay is smaller. If they worked a lot of hours, their pay is more. So there's two main types of workers in America, salary worker and hourly worker. It depends on what kind of job really determines what, whether they are a salary worker or an hourly worker. Okay. Of course, we're talking about earning money. Salary workers, hourly workers, they earn money. Earn means to get money in return for work. Can you earn money? Maybe. A lot of kids in America will do chores around the house and sometimes the parents will give them allowance. Allowance. And that is money that parents give to kids every week or every month for being good kids and doing jobs around the house. Also, kids can do jobs like babysitting, uh, cutting their neighbor's lawn, uh, washing cars. You can earn money by doing these different things. If you work and you get paid, you are earning money. Okay, our next word is business. Business. Business is the activity of making or selling goods or services. Whew, kind of a complicated word, isn't it? Uh, it's the activity. It's things that people do. And what are they doing? They either, you either make a product or you sell 
a product. There's two types of businesses, right? Businesses that make things, that create things, and then there are businesses that just sell things. Maybe they don't make them, they just sell them. So make a product or sell a product. Some companies do both or some businesses do both. And not only that, you sell goods, but you can also sell services. So some companies sell goods, some companies sell services, right? So those are different too. Goods, of course, are products, things that people use. Services are work that people do for other people. Services, for example, lawyers or doctors or accountants, those are services, right? If they sell goods, they might be a store that sells household goods or food or something like that. So there's all sorts of different types of businesses doing many different types of things business. Okay. Volunteer. Now we have this word. This is an interesting word. A volunteer is a person who works, but they're different from a worker in this respect because a person who does work for free, they don't earn money. They don't earn money. They're not getting any money in return for their work. Why do they do that? Because they want to help others. So it's very nice to volunteer to help other people. You don't expect to get paid. You're not working to get paid. You're doing it because it feels good to help other people and it's a nice thing to do. So many people will volunteer and they'll volunteer in their community. Okay, run. Run means no, that's one meaning of run, right? But this is another meaning of run. For example, Run means to manage or lead something. So when we use run in this lesson, we're talking about run a business. Run a business. Because business, by the way, can also mean, it's not just activity, but business can also mean company. Run a business, run a company. Business and company can be can mean the same thing, right? A business is an activity, but it also can be used to describe a company. You run a business, run a company. If you run a business, you are a business owner, right? And you work for yourself maybe, or somebody hired you to run a business. It means to manage. Manage means to take care of it, to uh, run it in a way that it's successful, or hopefully to manage a business or to manage or lead something. So you have to make decisions and you have to use a lot of uh, calculations to run a business. Office, where do people work? Most people, many people work in an office. An office is a room where people work. But it's not just any room. An office has desks, it has chairs, it has computers, right? It has telephones for people to answer. Um, it has internet connection. Uh, many people gather together to work there. They work for the same company. Those are offices. And of course, you meet people from other companies at an office as well. It's a place away from home uh, where people will work. Sometimes, though, people have offices in their home, a room in their house set aside, and that's where they work. They have their computer and everything there. Okay, so we have office. Outdoor. Some people work outdoors. Do you want to work in an office or do you want to work outdoors? It depends. There are different types of jobs that you can get to work in either place. Excuse me. In either place. Outdoor. Outside a house or a building. If you are outside a house, you're outside a building, the sky is above you, you are outdoors. What kinds of jobs can you get that you work outdoors? You could get a job as a park ranger. Park rangers work outside or outdoors. You could get a job as a police officer. Many police officers work outdoors, right? You could get a job as a tour guide. A tour guide works outdoors. A lot of outdoors. You know, sometimes they work inside the office, but a lot of time they also work outdoors or outdoor and a lot of time people will say outdoors I work outdoors but outdoor means not inside a building or home okay now we have different kinds of jobs here right 
Um, we have these two jobs here, these two types of jobs. We said that there are many types of businesses and there's also something else that people do that they work. Uh, it's kind of interesting. We have kinds of jobs here. This says for free. This says money. So this would be for money. This one would be for money. So let's take a look over here first. We have make goods. This man is making some type of good. What is he making? Well, that looks like bread that he's got there. So he is a baker, right? He's a baker and he's making bread. But anybody who makes food is making a good. Let's take a look at a video of this, this man. Right away we can see he's making a pizza because that's the special tool that they use to get a pizza. And this is an interesting way to make a pizza. pizza. This is, they're using charcoal to heat um, up the pizza and to bake the pizza. And wow, look at that. Are you hungry? That looks great. So he's running uh, his business or maybe he's just a cook there, but he is involved in making a good. So this is a type of business where people make a good. We also see uh, people who are working and they are just offering services, not goods, but they are offering services. That means that they're not making any product, anything that you can use, touch, or feel, but they are helping you. They are doing something to help you. This woman is a doctor. She offers a service. If you are sick or you are injured, she will help make you better. She will help cure you so that you are healthy again. And that's a service. It's not a good, it's a service. So people make goods for money. People offer services also for money. Now, some people work for free, for free like we saw before. And these people we call volunteers. So this uh, girl here is very nice. She's offering her time. She's giving her time for free to help older people. By the way, you could say offer services or offering her time. She's donating. When you donate something, it means you give it for free. This woman here, this girl here is donating her time. She is donating her time as a volunteer. That means she's giving it for free. Okay. Now down here we see a little note. This is a little footnote. Some people run their own businesses. So some people run their own businesses. We call those people, of course, I mentioned it before, we call those people business owners. Business owners. And they really, these people work for themselves. They are their own boss, right? They have a good idea. Uh, they have an idea. They have some ambition. They want to make money, either making goods or offering services that other people are not doing. And they think, I can do it. I can do it very well and be successful and earn money by myself. I can be my own boss. They run their own businesses. Okay, so that's an interesting chart there. Let's take a look at the words and match them to their definitions. We have six words here. Job, that's easy, job. Worker, worker. Earn, earn. Volunteer, volunteer. Business, business. And run, run. Let's take a look at these. Number one, a person who does a job. A person who does a job, they are working, so they are called a worker. Number two, to manage or to lead something. Remember, this word has two meanings. I said it doesn't mean this, right? It means to manage something, right? To manage or to lead something means to run. So you run your own business or you run a company. Three, to get money in return for work. So you're working and in return for your work, in return for your time, you earn money. What is that called? Yeah, of course, I just said it. It's earn. You are earning money. To get money in return for work. Four, work that a person does for pay. Work that a person does for pay. Remember, there's two ways to look at this. This could also mean the same as a career, but it's work that a person does for pay. It's a job. Remember, job can mean what is your job, what is your career, what do you do for your entire life, or just one piece of work that you do to get money. And you could have many different jobs. 
Sometimes you can mow a lawn. Sometimes you could go out and fix somebody's computer. Or you can go out and teach somebody to do something. You could do all of these things. And those are all different jobs. Five, a person who does work for free to help others. So in this case, this person is donating their time. They're giving their time and their uh, effort for free. They're not getting paid. What do we call that person? We call that person a volunteer, a volunteer. Okay, six, the activity of making or selling goods or services. So the activity of making or selling goods or services is of course talking about business, uh, the activity. It's the, the behavior, the things that people do, and there's a lot of different things. You can make goods, you can sell goods, uh, or you can uh, sell goods or services, either one. Okay, so we call that a business. Okay, let's take a look at our chart here, where people work. So part of this lesson is not just talking about jobs, but also talking about places that people uh, work at. Now we can work indoors or we can work outdoors. Here are some examples. We can work in an office, that would be indoors, right? A room uh, with desks, chairs, computers, many people get together and they work together in an office. You can work at home, although it's very difficult as this mother is finding out she's got her baby on one arm and she's trying to do some work on the computer with the other hand. It's kind of hard sometimes to work at home, but that would be working indoors. Then you can work at school, right? Teachers work at school, librarians work at school, principals work at school. They are working indoors, inside a classroom. You can also work outdoors. The farmer here on a farm, you work on a farm. This farmer here in his tractor, he's working outdoors. So he's out in the, out in the, uh, uh, in the outdoors. He's under the sky. Uh, he can see the mountains in the background. He can smell the earth. The sun is shining on him. Some people like to work outdoors because they think it's uh, more healthy. But of course, it's a nice day. It's not fun when it's cold or snowing or rain. That's not fun, right? But thankfully, he's got a sunny day so he can work outdoors easily. Other people, uh, you, they work on the road. This man is probably working either for the school or he works for a construction company. And they go out on the road and they say stop for the cars because there's only one way to pass, right? So he's, a, he's holding a sign that says stop. He's working on the road outside. Also at a building site, this man is a construction worker. Construction worker. He's a construction worker. Construction workers, of course, work outdoors because the building hasn't been built yet, right? When they finish the building, or when it's almost finished, then they can work inside, you know, putting the electrical wires and everything on the inside. But before the building is there, of course, they're working outdoors. They're working on the building site to make a new building or house or something like that. So two main places to work, indoors or outdoors. Okay. Let's take a look at our mini quiz here. Complete the sentences to best describe the pictures. Here we have our two pictures, right? Uh, and we're looking at two blanks here. People work to earn something, but beep, work for free to help people. Take a look, this woman here, she's working in an office. She's an office worker. She is probably doing that job in order to earn what? What does she want to earn? She wants to earn money, of course. These people over here looks like they're gathering clothes that are donations. Remember I taught you that word before, to donate your time. You can also donate your things. If you donate your old clothes, you have old clothes at your house, you don't wear them anymore. Will you throw them away? No, you donate them. Go outside your house. There's a bin outside your house. You can put your old clothes in other people will come and pick them up and give them to poor people or people who need those things. Those are donations. Old clothes, toys, uh, things in your house that you give to other people, those are donations. You can donate time, you can donate things. Well, these people, they're helping distribute. They want to help get these clothes to people who need them. So they're not working for money, they're donating their time. 
they are called what? They are called volunteers. Volunteers work for free to help other people, to help people. And that's what these people are doing. They're getting the clothes together and they will be able to distribute or give those clothes away to people who need them. Okay, let's move on to our last uh, part, uh, true-false uh, questions. Number one, outdoor is a room where people work. That's kind of an interesting statement, isn't it? Outdoor is a room. A room is what? A room is an enclosed space. A room has a floor, walls, and a ceiling. It's inside. So right there, it doesn't make sense, does it? Because outdoor means you're not in a room. The sky is above you. There's no walls. There's no floor. There's just dirt or grass or something uh, on, the, on the ground, but it's not a floor of your house or a building. So that doesn't make sense. It's false. Outdoor is not a room, right, where people work, okay? That is not correct. How would we make that correct? A room where people work is commonly called what? An, it starts with O, but it's called an office. An, off, oh, an office is a room where people work. That's true. Okay, number two. People earn money in return for their work. So why do most people work? Because it's fun? Because they have nothing better to do? No, they have to work in order to earn money, right? So that's true. People earn money in return for their work because we need money to be able to pay for food, housing, uh, transportation, things we want to do later when we're not working. So people earn money in return for their work. That's true, absolutely. Number three, business is the activity of making or selling goods for free. Okay, so we know business is an activity. That's true, right? Uh, and there's different types of businesses. Some businesses make goods, some businesses sell goods. But do businesses do all this activity for free? Does that make sense? They do it for free? No, that's absolutely not true. Business is the activity of making or selling goods for money, not for free. By the way, you could also say for profit. Profit means that you make money. Of course, you have to spend money. Many businesses, they have to spend money. But, the, but then when they earn money, they earn more money than what they spent, and that is called profit. So business is the activity of making or selling goods for profit, not for free, right? There would be no point in working. Well, maybe they want to help other people, but then how are they going to live? How are they going to be able to buy food for their families, housing, all the other things that they need or want? in uh, their lives. So business is working for money or for profit. Okay, well that wraps it up for the vocabulary section. Let's take a short break and we'll look at the reading passage in just a minute. Okay, welcome back to the reading passage. As you know, we're on lesson 10 talking about jobs. Now this reading passage will be talking about what a job is but also talking about where people do those jobs, okay? So let's get started. Let's read the first uh, part. A person does a job to earn money. A plumber, teacher, and farmer are all workers. Some people run their own businesses to earn money. They are their own boss. People buy food and clothes and pay the bills. Okay, so let's start over here again. A person does a job to earn money. That's our main idea. Why do people do a job? Why does a person do a job? Why? To earn money. That's why they do the job. That's why they are working. What are some examples of jobs that people do? Well, first we have a plumber. A plumber, by the way, don't pronounce the B. The B is there, but we just say plumber. Don't say plumber. <laughs> Plumber. It's very plumber, a uh, very common plumber. What is a plumber? A plumber is someone who comes to your house. Let's say your toilet isn't working or there's no water coming out of your, or your faucet at your kitchen sink. Uh, the plumber will come and fix those things for you. So a plumber, a teacher, and a farmer, these are all examples of workers, people who work to earn money. Some people 
right? Now we see another, uh, there's another type of person too. These people all work for somebody else, right? Well, farmers sometimes work for themselves, but some people run their own businesses. They run their own businesses. They manage their own businesses uh, to earn money. They are their own boss. Their own boss means that if I am running my own business, I don't have a boss because my boss is me. I am my own boss. They are their own boss. It means that their boss is them. They don't have a boss, okay? So they are in business for themselves. They run their own business. They own their own business. Why do people work to earn money? Because people buy food and clothes and pay the bills, okay? People will do a job in order to buy food. We need food to live, so we need to have money to buy food. We need money to buy clothes and we need money to pay our bills. What kind of bills? For example, our housing bills. If we rent, it, oh, N is over here, our housing bills. If we rent our house, we have to pay the rent. If we um, use water, we have utilities. I'll write this here, Util, yeah, utilities. Utilities are things like water, gas, uh, other types of things at your house. Water, electricity, gas, those are utilities. If you use those things, you have to pay the bill. No money, you can't pay the bills. So we work to get food, clothes, and to pay our bills. Okay, now some people work in an office using a computer. Most people actually these days work in an office using a computer. And that is inside, indoors. Some work outdoors. A farmer works in the field and a construction worker works on a building site. So here we're uh, separating two types of places where people work. Some people work in an office, which is indoors, and some people work outdoors, outside, not indoors. For example, we see two examples. One is a farmer who works in the field and the other example is a construction worker who works on a building site, okay, where a building is being built. So we see inside, indoors, outdoors, and then two examples of outdoors, okay. Now we also see another type of person who, do, who works, but they're not earning money, right? When someone does a job for free, right? Now we're talking about, you know, sure, there are many people work for money. Most people, almost all people work for money. But some people have extra time. Well, everybody has extra time. We all have leisure time. Some people spend that time by doing another job for free. When someone does a job for free, we call them volunteers. Well, they're not workers, they're volunteers, right? Well, they could be volunteer workers, but we also, mainly we call them volunteers. Volunteers do not earn money. They do not earn money from their work. They help people who are sick or poor. Volunteers help people who are sick or poor or old, <laughs> uh, in this case, or who cannot do things for themselves because it's a nice thing to do and they want to help other people. So this is another type of person who works, but they're not getting paid for their work. Okay, let's take a look at our reading skill. Our reading skill is main idea and details. Our main idea is a person does a job, why? To earn money. Then we see some details to support that. Okay, let's take a look at these details. We have blanks, one, two, three, four blanks, one, two, three, four words. Outdoors, volunteers, workers, and businesses, businesses, okay? A plumber, teacher, and farmer are all what? What are these examples of? They are examples of something. Plumber, farmer, teacher are all examples of what? Outdoors, volunteers, workers, or businesses? Well, of course, it's not outdoors, not volunteers. They are examples of workers, right? So they are examples of workers. Some people run their own what? They are their own bosses. They are in charge of their uh, work, right? They run their own 
businesses, right? That's the answer there. Some people work in an office and some people work somewhere else. An office, of course, is in, whoops, let me write that, indoors. So, so what's the opposite of indoors? The opposite of indoors is outdoors, outdoors. By the way, you can say indoor, indoors, outdoor, outdoors, doesn't matter. Okay, some people work outdoor, some people work outdoors. Okay, D, uh, beep, do not earn money from their work. Who, don't, who does not earn money from their work? They're working for free, right? They help sick or poor people. What do we call those people? We call those people volunteers. Volunteers do not earn money from their work. Okay, let's move on to our comprehension questions. How well do you remember the reading passage? Let's see. Number one, a farmer works outdoors in a what? A farmer works outdoors in a road, a site, or a field. Well, that's kind of easy, of course. Where do farmers grow crops? Do they grow crops on a road? <laughs> no, because the plants won't grow on the road. Do they work on a site? Do they plant their crops on a site, like a building site? No, because, you know, there will be a building there soon. So that's not true. And finally, do they grow their crops in a field? Absolutely, that's the answer. Farmers work outside in a field, and the field is where they grow the food, the crops. Okay, number two. An office is a room. True. Where? Where what? Where something happens. Let's see what's true about that. Where farmers work. Farmers work in an office? No, farmers work outdoors. They do not work in an office indoors. An office is a room where people work. Yes, that's true, because many people gather together to work in an office. An office is a room where food is made. No, you should not make food in an office that's very messy, right? So, an office is a room where people work. That's the right answer. Number three, why do people have jobs? So, we're talking about jobs, what a job is. We say people who have a job, they earn money. But uh, why do they do that, okay? So, why do people have jobs? A to earn money so they can buy things. Does that sound correct? Absolutely, that is correct. That's the reason people have jobs. Everybody needs money to buy things to live. We need money for food, for clothes, for housing, to pay the bills. We need money for those things. So that's why we have a job. Let's look at B and C for practice. B, so that they do not have to volunteer. <laughs> I want a job because I don't want to volunteer. That's crazy, right? Uh, you don't have to volunteer in the first place. And second of all, um, it's not like you have, you have to choose between volunteering and, and doing a job. You could do both, right? You could have a job and on the weekends or in your free time, you can volunteer. B C, to earn food and clothes and pay their bills. Uh, well, yeah, to, well, okay. You don't earn food and clothes, you earn money to buy food and clothes. So that's kind of silly. When you do a job, the people who hire you, your boss doesn't pay you in food and clothes. Oh, you did a good job today. Here's a salami, right? That's crazy. Or here's a sweater because you did a good job today. That's silly. Uh, so people don't earn food and clothes, they earn money and then you use the money to buy food and clothes. So that's kind of a silly answer, right? And of course, B was wrong too. And pay their bills. That's true, but this one is just silly. So that's not right. A is the correct answer. Four, who do volunteers help? So who do volunteers help out? A, they help plumbers and farmers do their jobs. So I'm going to go volunteer. I'm going to go help a plumber do his job. I'm going to carry his tools, right? No, that's silly. <laughs> I'm not going to volunteer to help somebody else make money. I want to get money too. Okay, B. They help people who are poor or sick. Who do volunteers help? People who are poor or sick. People who can't do those things for themselves or it's very difficult for them to do those things or get those things by themselves. That is true. Volunteers help poor people and sick people. It's doing something nice for other people who can't do for themselves. That's volunteering. C. They help people who work outdoors. Now that doesn't make sense either because that's getting back to farmers and other people who work outdoors for money. Volunteers don't help them, right? Because they're earning money. Why would a volunteer donate their time 
to help somebody who is earning money, right? You don't want to do that. Okay, so B is the correct answer. They help people who are poor or sick. Okay, that brings us back to our chart that we saw before. We saw kinds of jobs, and we're talking about different types of jobs, also different types of businesses that people will do, but certain types of things that people will do. Over here, we see these two jobs, you earn money. In this side, it's for free. So let's take a look over here first. This man is a baker. He is, what is he doing? He is producing something. So he is making goods. He makes goods. He makes goods for money. He makes something that we can touch, that we can feel, that we can use. It's an object. That's a good. So he's making goods for money. Another type of job is to do what? To offer work. She's not making any thing. She's not making an object that you can use. She is working for you. She is what? She is offering a service. And that service is to make you feel better if you are sick or injured. But there's many types of services, right? Police officers offer services. Lawyers offer services. Uh, accountants offer services. Teachers offer services. There's many types of services. On the other side, we have a girl. She's helping out an older lady. The older lady's in a wheelchair. She's maybe sick. She can't uh, do some work for herself. So she's helping her, but she's not getting paid. She is not earning money. She's doing it for free. So we call this girl here, we call her a volunteer. She's a volunteer. Okay, and then we also see at the bottom, some people run their own businesses. So that's another way that people earn money, and it's another type of job that people will do. And of course, you could be uh, lots of different types of jobs to run your own business. You could be a plumber, run your own business as a plumber, uh, run your own farm as a farmer. Uh, you could be a lawyer who runs your own business, a doctor who runs her own clinic. Uh, there's lots of things that you can do to run your own business if you want to be your own boss. So that's interesting to think about. When you get older, what type of job do you want to have? Why do you need a job? Do you want to work indoors? Do you want to work outdoors? And finally, also, do you want to volunteer your time? It's a nice thing to do. Donate your time to help other people who need that help. Okay, well, that wraps it up for this lesson. Hope you've learned a lot, as always. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.